I would say that there is an immense need for programs such as this that will allow women to not only to heal, to reconnect, to be whole. Seeing my piece, the part of my piece being fired, became so, it became so real to me. Not only that this was real representation of how I felt inside, it was, it was really translating the intangible thought in my head into this tangible sculpture, but also that I saw what happened during firing. A little piece broke off here, there was a little crack there, but it survived, it made it. There was a point when I was molding the clay and working with it as you know a ball and starting to it was starting to take shape and I was forming something and and it 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 occurred to me that I'm making something out of almost nothing you know sand and water and it could become anything and I was the sweat was pouring onto the clay my tears were coming onto the clay I think I probably had cuts on my hands from something or other. So I had blood, sweat, and tears in there, and I just realized all of that's going into this. It's all gonna go into this clay, and it may get burned out by the kiln, but it's in there, you know. And that's sort of what difficulty of, you know, surviving abuse and violence and stuff is. It's about blood, sweat, and tears, and I was able to get all that out, and, and it was so, um, it exhausted me, but it also helped me to just sort of get a different perspective on things. I ended up rolling my first one. I thought, that looks like a finger. I don't know why, I just did. And then I just kept doing them, and then I ended up making hands. And I had this thing about rolling a bunch of things and getting a bunch of clay and then clumping it together, and I could just see the hand, and I just started making hands. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I just kept making hands. have become the single most important part of my therapy in every way. The sculpting in particular was the single most important, like that was my pivotal moment. That was my, that was it. Not because of this or anything like that, really, really was it for me. Because I learned how to sculpt and make those hands and that, uh, that's probably the single most important thing I've done in my therapy. I have continued to use art as a, a tool um, to work through my stuff, and that's probably saved my life. It's certainly been the most valuable piece that I've learned.